an important aspect for when people are going out there and learning about what headless can do for them on the, the development side is you know that there's going to be some of these different frameworks over the years, but as you adapt through it and as the different headless approaches come to play, having that background knowledge as a developer in those frameworks is just going to benefit you overall. But you do kind of end up choosing a specific direction, right? You, you do. Um, but, and I agree. And that, that is one of the big advantages of React over other systems or even, um, you know, including WordPress and so forth, is that componentization, which you're also alluding to. And I mean, this is something that's been true of computer science forever. Like, you know, rise of object-oriented programming was the was the insight that code that executes things and much of the data that needs to execute upon should be bundled together because that's useful for things like modularity or testing and so forth. And of course, it's not perfect. Uh, we all know that it doesn't like magically solve every problem, but it does solve certain kinds of problems. It does make code more modular, more testable, more reusable than it would have been. It doesn't it's not perfect, but it's more so, and mm -hmm. that more so is good. 